All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So today is Thursday. We are tagging with Tiago once again. I know we had Tiago last Thursday, but uh, everybody seems fairly busy. Everybody I asked, I was like, you, you good? You, can you join me? Can you join me? They're like, nope, busy, 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 busy. He's like, okay. You know, so hopefully Tiago's free. He was, so, you know, it's just joining, you know. Uh, and I said, ever since season two got put on hold, everybody's just been sporadic. You know, not around, not around. You know, I wanted Luna to join me. Luna's busy. I wanted Stu to join me. Stu's busy, so... Uh, it's just everybody is just busy lately, which is fine. It's fine. You know, everybody live their life. You don't have to work around my schedule. If anything, I want to work around everybody else's schedule. You know, what's convenient for them. Anyway, we are playing them guide night, so hopefully we do something in this deck. Wow, are you fucking serious? Like, what do you mean? You fucking serious? Like, this guy, like, this guy doing some good plays? Like, you mad? You mad, bro? <laughs> or are you mad because this guy's playing freaking mech lords and we already know that mech lords are not the greatest deck. <laughs> So he can, he can, Tiago can go into a Felbrand or a Hope, he can go into Ultimaya, so broken to the Crystal Math. I'd probably go into Hope and then go into Ultimaya, set the card, going to Crystal Math. Because last thing you need a friend to do is just throw a Regeki at your ass, you know? If you go with Felbrand, I guess, you could t protect the Crystal Math, but then your effects would be negated by the Felgram. Okay, <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. So you'd be like, D-Test, you might go to Crystal Math unaffected by your Regeki, but then your Crystal Math effects are negated, so no, you know, divine. Intervention for you. Oh, no. Just went into a Tyrus. Okay. <laughs> well, I possibly thought that there was going to be some Ultimaya play. No, nope, just Tyrus. Sure. <laughs> okay, well, that can't be destroyed by card effect. And he can just make the Felgrim protect himself. So, that does nothing. <laughs> like, out of all the Mirror Forces, out of all the Mirror Forces, you play the regular one? Like, nah, nah, I don't, I, I don't know, I don't think, I don't think the regular one is good. I'd probably say the best Mirror Force right now, I'd probably have to say Quaking, say Quaking, Drowning, Storming, Regular Mirror Force, Blazing Mirror, Blazing Mirror Force I think is the worst, because either you're going to take damage, or you're going to take damage, you know? Like, the whole point of the Mirror Force is to block you from the attack, but then you're going to, you know, like, yeah, you shoot, you both, both you and your opponent take the burn damage, but you take the burn damage first, you know? So, uh, uh, not a not a big fan of uh, the Blazing Mirror Force at all. Oh my god, Mound of the Bound, uh-oh. Nothing good comes from Mound of the Bound. <laughs> Yep, yep, yep. Just Malefics. Wow. Oh, yeah. Alright. There again. Oh, he's gonna bust out a Malefic, then we are in some deep shit. Some deep, 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 deep shit. Like... <laughs> yep, go ahead and banish your Cyber and summon Malefic Cyber and... Oh, Rainbow Dragon. Okay. Don't see that play a lot. So... Deep, some deep, deep shit. <laughs> Also, I top deck a Dark Hole. Oh, wait, it doesn't matter because Bound did the Bound. Level 10 to higher. Can feel cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effect. Yep. Well, I have Twin Twister. I have Twin Twister. I know I have Twin Twister from opening hand. I'm not sure if I have anything else, though. Yep, so we take that extra. So I know I have Twin Twister. That's, uh, that's nice. Can I get like a Dark Hole Regeki? Yeah, I got my Spiral. Uh, I could turn this into Gaia Charter, but that doesn't do anything. Like, during my Fusion stage, I can get a Poly even though I don't need it. Like, overall, this is not looking good. The only about is this card attack or attack here. Yeah, but we have to survive the attack. You know, that's the problem. I don't think there's no way I can survive the attack. Like, this is just not a good hand. This is not a good hand. I need I need a dragon. I need I need a dragon and I got no dragons, no curse of dragons, nothing like that, so it sucks. It sucks real bad. So I'll go ahead and dex in. This deck is not the strongest for an already established board, you know. My job is to kinda get it in after, but an already established board, I'm fucking useless, you know. So I the best I the best I can do is just, you know, set a couple cards. Oh wait, I confuse into uh first of dragons. I forgot I ran him. I confused him the first. I'm like, like I can activate Polly. Yeah, I can go in the first dragons. So, and then I mean, this guy can't even touch me. So you know what? Fuck it. We'll do it. Yay, first dragons. <coughs> Outside of that, I mean, 
I can turn this to defense mode because they're going to get attacked. Can't do it. I can't kill the Malefic Cyber. Yeah. You know? I mean, the Malefic Rainbow Dragon. I could. I could. If I could, I would. Oh, I want to turn it to defense and we'll set some bluffs. You know, I shouldn't have set that. I shouldn't have set the poly. Because I want to have at least one card in my hand for the Twin Twister. So that means I'm setting two, which means that I'm asking to be Twin Twister, you know? That was bad on my part. <laughs> usually, like I said, usually lately I've been setting one or another. See, this is the difference between playing on Wide Joe Pro and playing in real life. In real life, I could just pick the card back up, you know, put it back in my hand, shuffle it a couple times, and reset something else. But, you know, with this, it's just like, it's set, it's set, you know? And we got first dragon, so he can't attack us, so that's nice. But I have no way of dealing with this card right now. Maybe Tiago can deal with it. Maybe he can Twin Twister and go into like a Cyber Dragon Infinity or something like that. But outside of that, yeah, not looking too hot. <laughs> for me, for me anyway. But I mean, you can't complain when you bust out that first dragon. So as long as there's no back row to fuck you up, I mean, it's pretty much normal. I don't, you know, you're just unaffected by monster effects. You can't be, you know, unaffected by monster effects. You can only be attacked by normal monsters. That first dragon's a bitch, you know? So, I mean, Tiago wants to go ahead and Twin Twister, pitch, pop, and then target this thing or do something involving this thing, then more power to you. Yeah, you know, you can go on Pleiades, but you can't, tar you can't target it. So, are you going to take the Neg on the Twin Twister? Yeah, you can go Twin Twister, take the Neg, pitch, pop, please, bounce. Oh, no, you'll just die. You'll just die. I forgot about... The, what? What? Why? Why I forget that fucking Malefics die when the field spell is destroyed? Why did I forget about that? I'm like, I'm like, if I did, even if I destroy the mountain to the bound with two twists, the Malefic will still stay. No, it dies. It's the whole point of Malefics, fuck boy. It's been a while since I've seen this fucking deck. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. Like, Tyler didn't even need to do that. He's probably just gonna go into like his uh, full armor plate. You know? I'm so dumb. So dumb. So dumb. <laughs> Whatever. Let's go into the two twister. Like, that that was dumb on my part. I could uh, you know what, in the end, it wasn't terrible because I would still be taking the neg, but I just kind of completely forgot. I'm like, well, I don't have anything. Okay. That's fine. I mean, that mech lord, that synergy though, that synergy, but uh, I mean, all these guys can fuck you up. This guy can bounce you, like that, that's nothing. Like, are you gonna are you gonna go into uh, Br uh, Blade or are you just gonna leave it like that? So I'm kind of wondering. I mean, Blade, it's like if you destroyed or something, you get a Galaxy Eyes or something. Uh, Cipher, a Cipher, summon it back. I think I don't remember what Blade said. Something about destroy by battle by card effect. Can you grab it back or maybe it's just card effect? I don't think it's removed from a field. I think it, I think it's if it's destroyed by a card effect, maybe by battle. Just destroy. Period. Yep. So, so it was bad that I forgot that the Malefic monster would be destroyed if we got rid of the Mountain the Bound. Because I'm also thinking like, like, oh yeah, like, oh man, I need to draw like a Dark Hole Regeki. Like, because I was thinking like, Twin Twister pop the Hill but then the Malefic would stay there, so I had Dark Hole Regeki. But no, the Malefic does with the Hill, with, with the Hill spell, duh. I can't believe I actually for legitimately forgot about that. <laughs> I am not perfect. <laughs> Yep, Blade, and what does this say? Because I know it said something. Uh, destroyed by an opponent's attack or card effect you send. And set to go, you can target one Galaxy Cyber Dragon or something. Okay. I, 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 knew, I, I knew it was destroyed by a card effect. I wasn't sure battle, but I mean, you're 3200. You know, how the fuck are you going to get destroyed by battle, right? Uh, and then that Pleiades, I mean, that Pleiades pretty much fucks this Malefic guy. All right, all right, that's game, man. That's game. I was thinking that, because think about it, he could, he could, he could potentially play a Malefic, I mean, there's not too much you could do. You could, you could play a, a field spell, play a Malefic, but please you could just bounce the field spell and it'll die anyway, so. Oh, I should have attacked with the weaker monster. Always attack with the weaker monster first. Always attack with the weaker monster first. Well, I should have just attacked with fucking Cypher Blade for game, because he might summon Tragodia. Okay. I'm just misplaying in this fucking duel. Thank God Tago is actually legitimately here, because holy shit. Like, uh, now I looked at the life points and it's exactly at their talent. Because I saw, he, you saw him alert for track, so I think he's going to drop that, even though I could just go please these bounce anyway, but... Oh, well, we won that duel. Alright, we're getting a duel. We're back. Alright, we're back. So... Uh, like I said, I need a dragon. I mean, I mean, I'm, that, I just, I just happen to get lucky that 
the two guys were able to make a first dragon. So if, the, if I wasn't able, if first dragon is not a card, I would have literally done absolutely fucking literally nothing. I guess I could sell the Twin Twister and pop his uh, Ghost Monkey rather than that. But uh, outside of that, my, my hand was hot ass. I mean, then I drew into the Redem, but I need dragons. I mean, there's a ton of ways to access the Curse of Dragons. That's why I was not too worried about the dragons. Yeah. Because I'm running Curse of Dragon and I'm running uh, the Summoner's Art. Because Summoner's Art can search for Gaia or Curse of Dragon, you know. I just need the piece, two pieces of the puzzle, but I didn't. I didn't get either. I only got one. Ah, that's the fusion mechanic for you. It's not the greatest thing. Yeah, like I said that nice solemn warning. So, let you know how powerful that card is. I'm gonna say, is this the same guy? <laughs> oh no, he's playing uh, BLS or Gaia. I said I could play I could play uh, Gateway to to Chaos the Search Guy, but it's slow. Yeah, you know? I think I'd, I'd rather just play Summoners. Art. I can play I can play as many Summoners art as I want per turn, and I can search Cursed Dragons too. That card I can only you can only activate one you know Chaos Field once per turn. I mean it's still good, it's still good, but actually if you're playing like a BLS deck, but I wouldn't be surprised if, if he's playing with a BLS deck because uh, that deck is getting a little bit popular with the new cards. Yep, there he is, like Super Soldier. Wow, that's it. Well, I mean, I could bust out the guy, but I won't get my draw effect. I only get my draw effect if I... Yeah, if I use the spear. Yeah. Wow, I'm getting... Like, this fucking fusing stage, though. Like, I, the number generator keeps giving it to me. Yeah, I could, I could bust it out right now. I could go into like a rank seven play. I could go into like a big guy of flare, Drake will sack along those lines. I, I, I'm really, I'm really, I just feel like taking it slow. Yeah, I'm just gonna take it slow. I, I can't really do too much if they don't do anything because I do pierce and then I get my fat, you know? So I'm just gonna take it slow. There's 16,000 life points. You know, if, if both of them leave their shit open, then Tiago can get it in and do his place, but. Is it literally just going to be none of us are going to summon any monsters? <laughs> that, that actually is legitimately funny. If all four of us just kind of sit here and no play any monsters. Wow. And this, oh, oh, yes. Oh, same guy. Same guy. He's like, he's like, I'm going to run that back. I'm going to run that back. I got beat. I, the Malefics, I got beat. But now I'm going to run that back. Like, okay. Uh, should I? I don't know. All right. Uh, we won't stop. And so Tiger's like, he probably has another Malefic. Like, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, I would be one this card in hand. I mean, we'd be taking 4,000, but I'm just wondering if Tavio can probably clear up the, the, the field spell. Some way, some shape, some form. I mean, he did it last time. No, really, he needs to rank 8, and he can bust it out, you know. Go into the full armor, pop that. Go into the blade, pop that, you know, so. Uh, pretty good, pretty good, you know. I'm hoping that Tavio is just taking it slow, and he probably still has play. So you're gonna like increase that to eight, then play your uh, Galaxy Expedition, yep. Then go into Cypher, then go into Full Armor, pop the Fill Spell, then go into Blade, pop your set card. Yeah. Just kind of wish that the, the BLS guy did something, <laughs> set a monster, something, but nope. It'd be cool if it was just if I inflicted battle damage, period, but no, it has to be through its effect period wow and we're just running it back this is literally the same exact duel just pop your fill spell here goes your malefic yeah at least he still has his nods to the bound so because he used his tag partner field spell yeah but now pop this pops any card on the field so i mean target the card on the field pops it so get rid of that you don't need your super soldier shield let's back up monster that uh, well, you control a blast negate activation if you destroy it it's cards in your graveyard Okay. You tried to summon Gores, you can catch that one. You're not, you know, you know. You're not gonna get a token that's just as strong as us. It's stupid. <laughs> if it was Trag, no, even Trag would be stronger because it would flip out to his tech partner's turn with six cards in his hand. This card's not terrible if you could have BLS on the field. I mean, it is a, a, a Infernity Barrier. As long as you have BLS on the field, so it's not terrible. This second effect, I mean, who the hell plays spell counters like that? 
Like, it's like, hey, I just removed one spell counter, and then bam, like I said again, wow, this man seriously has nothing? <laughs> like, that, that is fucking amazing that this, this man still has nothing at all. Uh, I mean, this guy's probably gonna die. This guy's gonna die, because he's just doing some of Malefic around his ass over, so I'm kind of wondering if there's anything that I should do. I can go into first to dragons. No, I think I should just leave it alone. Just like that, leave it alone. I'm gonna hold on to my resources because uh, I can bust out a, a summon play. Oh, okay. I guess. Yeah, I can bust out. Uh, yeah, I can bust out rank seven play because I can fuse into with Gaia. And then I can swing a memory, summon back to Gaia. Then I can go into Draco Sack, and then because I have Draco Sack, Draco Sack, summon two token, pop token, pop his field spell. So I don't want to make sure that I have an out to the plays as well. You know, so no point. Just hold on to my resources. So yeah, there it is. Left book cyber end. Problem is Tiago is running out of resources. Maybe I think he has. Three cards left in his hand. So we'll go ahead and take that thousand. So we have nine thousand, we're still okay. And with only one malefic being able to attack, it's not like we have to worry about a whole bunch of malefic monsters dropping us. It's just a BLS guy, he's not doing anything. It's kind of, you know, it's like the BLS guy is kind of sitting there passively. I'm kind of sitting here passively. Oh, yeah. Just, I wonder how many uh, Cypher Blades Tiago runs. Maybe, maybe, maybe three? Maybe. Maybe two to three? <laughs> Cause that would, you know, just slap on another. <laughs> what? You actually have a d divine monster? Uh, okay. Were you playing like Sphere Mode? Yeah, let's say. You're probably playing Sphere Mode just so if we overextend and have three monsters, you could just be like, nope. So. Alright, I'll keep that in mind that you have Sphere Mode in your hand. Oh, pitch the galaxy knight. Interesting. Uh, you just is galaxy knight even in this duel? Yeah, yeah. You pitch the knight and still have a knight. Okay. <laughs> Felgrand or Hope or I'd say Hope would probably be better in this situation since the spell guy, because all he has to do is just summon a BLS and he'll attack over. I probably I'd say Hope right now. I'd say Hope is the better card. Yep, yep. There's Hope. Because yep, Hope can negate a spell, which, of course, the BLS guy won't sack to a spell, especially a ritual spell. And with Felgrand, he'll just ritual summon BLS tech over, so Felgrand's not too hot right now. So, Mr. BLS guy. It's time. We're going to see a ritual summon, or at least attempted something. Hey, you, haven't, you haven't done shit all duel. I'm neither have I. Like, I can't talk shit, but... I'm intentionally doing it. I can't tell if you if you're not if you're intentionally holding back or you just have don't have any play. I'm gonna say that you don't have any play because there's no reason for you to be holding back. Like you, you need to go in. Repap. Like I negate that because I don't want you getting plus. Fuck that. Wow, wow, wow. Uh if I overextend it would be game, but my problem with it is that if he has like another fear or whatever to block my attack, then then his fear, like, fear of Karibo will block the attack, right? And that won't be game. And then the other guy will just drop fear mode on our asses. So, yeah, not the greatest of things. I think I should just take it slow. Just take it slow. We'll we'll win, we'll win eventually. You know. Uh, still don't really have anything. I'll just set this. I don't know. During the end phase. Oh, there's really no point. Tiago's like, do you really not have anything? Like, no, no, no. I, I had something. I, if they didn't, if they didn't play extra mode or anything, I would gone for win for a game. But I'm scared. I'm scared that he's gonna block the attack, and then the guy's just gonna be like, oh, you have three monsters on the field. Here you go. For, here's the fucking Wing Dragon of Raw. Like, no, no. So now you can't even summon Wing Dragon of Raw. We only have two. <laughs> that was intentional. So is that game? Do we win, GG? Did we win when fucking Daniel did absolutely nothing? Looks like it. <laughs> Looks like it. Good job, Daniel. You summoned absolutely nothing. Tiago won this duel yet again. 
Alright, I guess we'll give another duel and be right back. Alright, bring this back again. I mean, I could go into the regular Gaia. Of course, Blue Eyes. Why not? Why not? I always gotta face the Blue Eyes. I can go into the regular Gaia. Mm-hmm. 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 Like, Blue Eyes isn't even good anymore. Like, that's a sad thing. Like, this deck, this deck. Uh, it just kind of fell off in the OCG and TCG. I mean, quarantine just wrecks it. Though. Like any deck that you really can't normal summon anything stronger than six hundred, you might want to check yourself because you're just gonna, you know, you're gonna get wrecked. Mm-hmm. Yep. And it looks like I think that's the BLS guy. So Tiago has to be good. Tiago has to uh, be careful because this can tag out into Moonlight. That would be bad. <laughs> that would be extremely bad if that happened. <laughs> I mean, the Moonlight was still died during the end phase, but it would still interrupt Tiago's play. So that's one of the main reasons why you play Moonlight. What's wrong with Galaxy Eyes? I'd rather. I'd rather see and face Galaxy Eyes than fucking face another Blue Eyes deck, you know, over and over and over and over and over. But, I mean, that Galaxy guy who, who beat me fucking did, you know, get Soul Charge all three games, so that was kind of annoying. <laughs> Speaking of, I got a Regionals this weekend, so. <laughs> i just gonna tag out now. Okay. He can run that over, though. <laughs> Like, like Tiago doesn't give a fuck. He could just go into full armor and full armor can run that ass over. So it's like, yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, what is it? Like, you can't be. Well, like, Dragon Monsters you can't control can't be targeted or shot by counter effects. That's nice, but it doesn't say anything about not running that ass over. I know Tiago can run that ass over. <laughs> like, this is very. Very theme specific to Yu-Gi-Oh's right now, you know? <laughs> I'm playing Gaia, and then there's the other guy, GG, I think he was playing BLS, and there's Blue Eyes, so. Yep. Going to Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon, run your ass over. So, yeah, that result wasn't the greatest, but he's still okay. He still he still has resources. He's still Blue Eyes. But it's just Blue Eyes are just super susceptible to sighting. No fun. What do you mean no fun? No fun dealing with fucking Azure Eyes and shit. So is this the BLS guy again? I think it is. I think it's the BLS guy. Yeah, we could just catch a Rugeki. Yeah. Joy by opponent's card pack. Exit You can special summon this card during your second stamina phase after activation. This attack is doubled. Like, I guess. I mean, it's Regeki. It's a really skillless card. We should have known that. I mean, I got it too. Regeki. Card's stupid. And this card's gonna come back with 8,000 during Tiago's next turn, because my standby phase is 1, Tiago's 2. You're gonna get an 8,000 attack fucking Galaxy, Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon, so. Resonators. Okay. Maybe the I thought the GG guy was playing BLS. Maybe he's not. Maybe he's playing uh, Resonators. Maybe he's gonna go into Abyss or something. That would suck. Yeah, it definitely looks like he's playing like uh, resonators. Uh oh, he goes into abyss, and that's gonna be no good. Oh no, not level eater. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so summon level eater. Pitch to like set two. That, we know that's a resonator in your hand. I get, what, are you gonna like, summon that resonator, go into like formula synchron or something? Draw a card? Like, what? Well, you could summon the synchron resonator you got, go into formula, draw a card, either level off of blue eyes, 
potentially drawn to something. Yeah. Oh man, he likes running the fucking 50 card deck. Let's go. We gotta run the desires. At this point, you just drop the shit down to 40 and run desires, so. Ooh, ooh. I'm be piercing me some booty hole, hopefully. Uh, give me that guy. <laughs> I said I could regeki him, but the blue eyes isn't even a threat. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go into it. Gaia. Gaia. Give me my spear. Spear. Pierce that level. Actually, level ear is not a threat. I think I might have just turned the blue eyes to defense mode and pierced the blue eyes. Yeah. Because this is like, when this card declares an attack on an opponent's monster, you can change that monster's battle position. So then he'll, he might be inclined to be like, nah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Yeah. So, turn the defense point. Storming. Alright, that's fine. I could Regeki, but... Nah. Nah, because this is about to come back and fuck him, so... No. It's not worth it. It's just a little your blue eyes. The mirror forces, though. That storming mirror force, that fucked me. Right in the cooter. <laughs> that sucks. I really wanted to kill that blue eyes and get that nice play off, but nope. Actually, no, I probably should have said to... No, no. I was saying I probably should have said to Blue Eyes, but then he could just summon Spirit and banish it. So, no. Ah. I seriously bit the bullet on that one. And even if I went to First of Dragons, I still would have caught that, you know, caught, catch a bullet, caught that fucking mirror for so. Ah, the one time that I would have loved Twin Twister. He said exactly two. I would have loved Twin Twister. Just Twin Twister, pitch, pop, you know? But nope. <laughs> Shaking my head. I'm just kind of worried that that other set card's another mirror force. Like, that's what I'm worried about. We're going to be taking a nice chunk of damage right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're taking a nice chunk of damage. <laughs> ah, blue eyes. See, now if it was a field like this, definitely you'd be catching that Regeki. But outside of that... Okay. Like, is it really worth getting rid of this? Like, aren't you just gonna get rid of it with Spirit anyway? With the stone? If you summon it? I guess. I guess, man. And why did you exceed now? Like, when you got more damage in? Okay, now you just wanna go into Dark Matter. Why do you do that? Why do you, why do, you do the full armor in the Dark Matter? I don't understand that. Why don't you just... It just had to be on a level 9 Galaxy Eyes or something like that? Like, I don't know. Oh, he's playing Chaos Max. Um, uh, uh, I don't need Prisma. I don't need Prisma. I don't need Prisma. <laughs> I do not need Prisma. <laughs> okay. Attack twat monster stuff. What are you doing? Like, like this blue eyes guy is literally just doing plays for the sake of doing plays. I don't like this. And you would have got more damage if you would have fucking tacked with the two blue eyes first, fuck boy. You had a blue eyes and a fucking uh, alternative. You would have done more damage. You would have dropped from six thousand to four thousand. You could have done this during main phase two. Whatever. Whatever. You know. So it really didn't matter if I set the regeki because he's gonna bust out his uh his white spirit anyway. I mean, I'm not sure if we can survive full circle. If we can survive full circle and come back to me, then, you know, I, I got the Regeki, but... That's the thing. You know, I would like to play the Regeki, but then it's not great to set the Regeki. It's just... Uh, just gonna turn into it now? Like, okay. I guess. Yep, and then both, both the stones call off because that summon effect is the once per turn. God damn it. God damn it. I'm, I'm apologizing about this popping up. It's fucking. That's Dragon Ball Z League and it's popping up and they keep messaging me and it's annoying. So that's gonna go ahead and come back and be an 8,000 attack monster. My gripe is. 
Oh my god, I might have to fucking... Hold on. There we go. Muted it. So, this is nice, but I'm kind of wondering, can the can the other guy do anything? What does he have in his hand? He has red resonator. Okay. No, he has synchron resonator, and that's it. He already played his Regaki. Ah, uh, he might be in some deep shit. If he can't, if he can't get around this field, because if, if they can go for game, then they got it. But I have Regeki. I could just throw the Regeki at them, and then they'll just lose everything. So, it seems like Tag is gonna go a little bit more in with it too. So he's just gonna clean up the field. You're gonna go into, uh, well, no, because you can't kill his monsters. It's Azurax, right? This is until the next end buff phase. So is that the last end phase or this end phase? I want to say it was that last end phase. Oh, or he can just snatch your ass up. Yeah, oh fuck, yep. Yep. This targets, right? Yeah, that targets. That targets. So. Oh, okay. I thought he was gonna like take the, the dark matter, but I guess there's really been a point. I don't think there's anything else you could slap on top of this. I don't think, yeah, I don't think anything else can go on top of this. Yep. All right, get rid of that. Wow. So, because you fucked up and you summoned Azurax, it ended during the next end phase, which was your end phase, yeah. Which is tagged out during our turn, and you might have been okay. You know, because you didn't tag out during our turn, you... Uh, once again, fucking just Tago doing things. I I I, I haven't done shit. <laughs> I fucking tried and I got hit with a mirror force, so. And the other guy has literally Synchron Resonator drawing into one, facing down this, so. Good luck. Good luck. Oh, detach wrong card, or it doesn't matter. No, you just target a galaxy. Uh, Cypher Dragon in Graveyard Summon it. So, uh, top deck Dark Hole. Dark Road Dealings. Okay. Or fucked up. Got rid of that red carpet that you drew. Well, no. You drew in Dark Road Dealings and did it and got rid of red carpet. That's an egg, and now all you have is your resonator. You're fucked. You're fu I mean, look, look at the life points, man. Like, what are you talking about, man? You're playing Blue Eyes. You're playing that top tier shit, my dog. Like, if anything, you can grab back your alternative. You can go st stone, banish, grab back your alternative. You can do that twice, because I think you have two in there, right? Yeah, you have two. You can do that twice, my boy. I know you have a blue eyes in your hand. So grab back your alternative, special summon, pop. They kill it. Grab back your blue eyes, special summon, pop. Like, it's just, we survived that long. I would say that's not resonator. That's, n that's nothing, so. What's going on from the graveyard? You. You could trigger this card. This card's in your graveyard. You can target and go off there and see how she gets to it. But you can only use that effect once per duel. Okay. There's really no point in me doing that. Uh, can I do this? I'm thinking. Can I activate King of the Swamp to get me Polly? Then can I fuse these two into my Gaia? Because this would be the name Gaia and this is just a dragon. Can I do that? No. Okay. I was kind of wondering if I could do that, you know, because I thought it was Guy the Fierce Knight. You know what it is, though. Like, is that is that what's material? It's, uh, it's, uh... Yeah, we do. It, it was, it's, uh, Synchronism here. Synchronism here. It's, uh, Synchron. Uh, does that do anything? This is a monster, blah 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 blah. This card is some for the grave. You can target one resonator monster your grave and add it to your hand. Okay. I mean, I gotta kill it. I have to kill it. But then he'll get a he'll get a resonator back to his hand. I know he does. He have another resonator in his duel. I can't remember if he played another one. Yeah, he has Creation Resonator. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're totally cheating. Yeah. Totally not the fact that you searched for it and then did nothing with it. Yeah, I would say it's gonna go off either or. Go ahead, back. 
So I couldn't do this play. I was kind of wondering if I could fuse with it, but no. Because I thought this could be the ga the Gaia, and then this would be the dragon for my super chocolate fudge cover galaxy Gaia Knight, but no. Uh, so I guess just attack and attack. And no, this time, I'm going to learn from my mistakes. I'm going to set that card. If he banishes it, he banishes it. Fuck it. But I, I kind of wanted to give it to Tiago just in case. I was wrecked on Slager's channel. I, I've never been on. I, I've never been on uh, Slager's channel. Slager's channel. But I do have a YouTube channel. <laughs> you might have heard my name before. Uh, yeah, that sucks. I thought this could be. I thought this could be Guy of the First Night, and this would be my dragon. But. Mm-hmm. He's playing Swords of Concealing Light because he's playing Chaos Max, obviously. I keep drawing red him. <laughs> like I'm in a perpetual state of just drawing red him. Good job, fuck boy. <laughs> Stop killing Tiago's monsters, shit. <laughs> yeah, they just scooped. All right, we're done here. Wow. Ah, I still did. Eh, it's still not nothing. This is the Tiago show. God damn it. <laughs> oh, this deck is not the greatest. It really isn't. Like, uh, need the Gaia. Rip. I went for one and I got fucked up by a mirror force. There's my twin twisters. All right, we're done here. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. Thank you, Tago, for joining me. I will see you guys tomorrow playing... What the fuck do we play on Friday? Trimits, Trimits, that's right. All right, people, thanks for watching.